I've met people that don't really seem to have a lot of talent or really good at what they're doing, but they, they, they just do it and they're successful. Often I'm, I'm also, um, I provide information. I wanted to be kind of educational. I like to get more educational with my videos. Um, but right now I like I identify certain plants that are featured in it, particularly the edible plants. Um, and what is the what is the reaction with the audience? Do they feel like oh I'm glad I learned this or? Um, often yes, yeah. Often I get a lot of comments that people I get a lot of thank yous, and a lot of people tell me that I'm an inspiration, which I mean I never thought that would happen. I I don't know. I don't I don't I'm not sure exactly where they're why they're seeing that inspiration in what way. I think a lot of it is because of I'm showing how you can be you don't need all these material things how you can make the things you need from right from the earth you know that's and one aspect the that's other one aspect, aspect is here you went after your passion and you didn't care about the end result and it's given you so much success like one of the comments was man this guy's got a lot of time on his hands and another guy commented is like well that's the beauty of it is that he's focused on what he's interested in and now you're blowing away filmmakers and actors who are going after YouTube views because you focused on your dedication. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, whatever that was, yours happens to be survival, you know, but still you focused on it and it got you to another level. Right. You know, it's like right here, this interview is like, as a filmmaker, you're a filmmaker as well. It's like trying to figure out what is that where you crack the code, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and like what you're saying, like Casey Nice says, like, just keep up looking, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, that's, I've heard that, I mean, if you listen to, you know, motivational speakers and, I mean, they'll, they'll say that, you know, persistence and consistency um, are one of the key factors. Um, what is it, I think, I think you told me, Woody Allen, what, what, what did he say? 80% success is just showing up. Just showing up. <laughs> I, when you told me that, because I, I didn't hear that from him or anywhere else, but you told me that, and I always remember that. You know, I always have remembered that. I seriously have just, I've thought like, yeah, 80% just showing up. I mean, I've, I've met people that don't really seem to have a lot of talent or really good at what they're doing, but they, they, they just do it and they're successful. You know, they're, they're getting good results. And um, I always felt so much frustration in life not having results and stuff. Um, just to and, give a little history, we've known each other since 2003. Oh and we both both are 16 at years now, yeah. Filmmaking. And it's right. frustrating because yes. like, like one put me into debt for ten years. The one we worked on, internal, because I wanted to shoot on film. Oh my god. And, <laughs> ten years. And then I ended up paying for the whole crew, like we went out to eat and it just ended up costing thousands of dollars. Like, <laughs> I went like twenty five thousand in debt and I was like, I'm so burned out on this. Oh wow. And then it just like burnt me out. And then and that's what we're talking about. That technology in that era was like mini D V. Yes. which is pretty hideous compared to today's standards and absolutely film. and so it's kind of like you went through all that and it's kind of like burned it burned me out like i got to a point where i got burned out i kind of like got away from it and now with the 5d and everything else that came off you know like the really cheap 4k like an iphone now shoots 240 frames you know it's things that are amazing mm -hmm. you know which is part of the cinematic aspect i'm a very dp oriented thing so but it just got you to the point where Seeing you, like we've been through, I was the one shooting, we're shooting stock photography, <laughs> <laughs> making 60 cents, you know, like I kind of got burned out, like my account's still up, I made 68 bucks since then. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they pay out till 100, so let's still see. <laughs> yeah, right, you gotta get the 100, $100 <laughs> threshold. Right, right. So just seeing you get to this level, so we never got to your subscription, you, you were getting 100,000 subscribers a day. Okay, yeah, well the road to that... Yeah, the story continues. Um, the subscribers were going up. My soap plant video got me a bunch, and then it went down, and and I was frustrated. And but then I got refocused, and I and I focused again on the love of what I was doing. I want I want to share this. I want people to know the the benefits. You know, the health benefits. There's so many benefits to learning these skills. Learning, you know, to, to have the self reliance. The you know, in, in, a, in any kind of emergency situation, you know, if there's natural disasters, you know, that happen. I remember when the Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico. I had friends that, I had one friend that was well-prepared. He, he, he was self-sufficient. He was 
wrote it out, no problem. And I know other people that were like devastated, like the mosquitoes and just all kinds of problems. They're standing in line for all day to get food and water. And it's, it's ridiculous. And I'm like, man, there's food all over the place out there, you know, the coconut. Oil. You know, so I, I learned through this whole process of my body's limits, you know, how much the body can endure, you know, how much suffering you can take. And, you know, and, and I think those are really important things to know. I think, you know, for, you know, in a personal uh, aspect and, and in a, if there is a serious situation, you know, fortunately in, in this country, we don't have many experiences like that. Um, but in other parts of the world, it's, it's quite common. Um, you know, so, I, but also about the medicinal values of a lot of the plants, you know, people pay a, a fortune for medications and, and, uh, you know, there, you know, doctor visits and there's so many treatments that they, that can be done with plants that just grow all around us. And, and it's safer in, in many cases, not always. I mean, you have to have some knowledge. So I, I say that with precaution because I don't want people going out and just start eating stuff, you know, that's growing in their backyard or whatever. Um, you have to learn about it. You have to learn about it. uh, its uses and, and, you know, some plants, some things have potential side effects. And so, but nonetheless, um, there's a lot, a lot of, there's a lot of information, a lot of useful information in my videos. I, I like to call them movies because to me they're kind of like miniature movies, you know. It's like Casey Neistat calls them all films, doesn't he? I'm not sure. I heard because somebody else, yeah. somebody's like, yeah, I'm watching Casey. He calls them films. Like, I don't get it. I'm like, they're videos. <laughs> but like you get into that mindset. Right. Know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, the, the amount of work that he puts into them is phenomenal. I mean, they are really top-notch productions most of the time. 